Welcome to Midday Kentucky, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me in the studio today is, of course, Dr. Eric Smith from Georgetown Bariatrics and Advanced Surgical Services. Welcome back to the show, my Thanks friend. Thanks for having me. All right, so we've talked a little bit about your past in the past. So just refresh everyone's memory. Why did you decide to get into bariatric surgery? Well, you know, I think I had a, a lot of exposure to it during my residency and my training. Um, we were a large bariatric center where I trained. Um, and so I got to see not only the surgery itself, but the interaction with the patients and the outcomes and the effect that it had on people's lives. I loved the challenge of it. Mm -hmm. It was difficult surgery. Um, it was challenging surgery. And then to get to see the reward of the outcome was really what made me seek that out. And when you look back from when you first started, we've talked off camera about shows that are on, on TV now. How has it advanced so much for you? Because you're cutting edge with your robotic surgery. Yeah, I mean, you know, when I started residency, the primary way bariatric surgery was done was open. Right. And so we saw patients that even did well, they still had a 50% chance of hernias and wound complications and all these things. And we've advanced into minimally invasive surgery. I saw that in part of my residency. And now, you know, with robotic surgery, we're able to do really complex surgeries on complicated patients in a very minimally invasive way and, and impact their life in a positive way, but yet the morbidity that it brings is minimal. Why Georgetown and why did you want to be leading that team? Well, you know, I think what's interesting is Georgetown has placed an emphasis on bariatric surgery really? for years, well before I was there. That's kind of been their landmark program and what drives the hospital. Um, so I already had the opportunity to work with a hospital that saw the importance of the program. And then the, the, the challenge of adding robotics to that. They didn't do robotics before I got there. And now we've taken that program that never had a robot. Now we do more robotic surgery in our field than anybody in the state of Kentucky and probably in the top 5% in the country. The two combined was really rewarding. Okay, so what's happening for 2020 for Georgetown Bariatrics? So lots of, lots of positive things. I think the biggest thing is mm. we're getting a new office, really? um, which is right next to the campus of the hospital, so it'll be, it'll be very close. We're going to have a ton of square footage. Um, a lot, uh, we're looking at adding an additional provider in the office to help my PA, so another right. uh, either physician assistant or nurse practitioner will be helping. The facilities we'll have, we'll have our own kitchen within our office. We can do cooking classes with our oh, wow. patients. All of our education, our conferences, our seminars, We'll have a massive classroom in our own office. IV therapy, all those things are all in one place. When are we seeing that sort of start come to true fruition? Well, we're, we should be opening in the summer. Okay. It could be June, it could be July. We're doing construction now. We've done walkthroughs with it, and we're still fine-tuning where we want everything. But it's coming very soon. And one of the things that I find interesting about your, your program is that you're all about the education over there at Georgetown Bariatrics and Advanced Surgical Services. Why is that so important? And especially now you just said you're building your own kitchen as well. Right. Well, I mean, I tell people all the time this is different than any other surgery they'll have where normally if you've healed from the surgery, you're done. My part's really just a small portion of this. The education is what gives people long-term results. The education with our dietitians, the education on following up on their lab work, staying healthy. So really a lot of our expansion of our office is not for me, it's for the program and the education that we can continue to provide and improve. Speaking of education after you have the process and the, and the operation done, what's the success rate if they're not following your program by continuing to be with you? You know, they don't seem to do as well, correct? Oh, no. I, I tell people all the time, lifelong follow-up leads to lifelong results. Right. You follow up for a short period of time, you'll have good results for a short period. Three or four years later, you'll be back. You have to stay on top of the right lifestyle and eating the right way and exercising as well as using the tool that we give you surgically. When people are sitting at home watching these interviews, what, do you, what can you say to them for them to, if they're on the fence? And we all know you can do the seminar online, right. okay? What do you suggest for them to do if they're too nervous to actually pick up the phone and come and see you? Well, obviously, online seminar is great. You know, unfortunately, you can get online and get a lot of information that may or may not be accurate. Right. But the online seminar is an easy, free way to be educated upon this. And the last thing I would say is, of all the things for people who are morbidly obese, the only proven entity that we have for long-term weight loss in the morbidly obese population is bariatric surgery compared to any other modality. We appreciate you, Dr. Eric. Yeah, thanks you for having me. find out more information. There it all is up on the screen. Georgetown Bariatrics and Advanced Surgical Services. Give them a call, go online, look at the online seminar. It is worth the time. Back up in the short break.